In today's gospel, we learn <clears throat> that our Lord truly did establish a hierarchical church. And so we must again reclaim that virtue of reverence towards the hierarchy of the church for much of the error that is in the, the modern world and especially within the mystical body is rooted in descent from the whole Pope and all those bishops united to him. And if we want to understand how dangerous this vice is when it creeps into the mystical body, let us perceive from today's gospel what the Lord entrusted the apostles with. They were to go out, they were to expel demons, they were to teach, and they were to anoint. And even though the anointing referred to by St. Mark in today's gospel is not the sacrament of anointing, it is a prelude to that sacrament by which Christ will come to strengthen us at the moment of our death. And so the Lord has given to the apostles all those things necessary for salvation because he has assigned them and their successes to have authority over the sacramental life of the church. And so, with great re reason, we must have filial devotion to the Pope and to all those bishops united with him. And indeed, all those who dissent, whether they be bishops or members of the mystical body at large, we must constantly pray for, pray for so that they return to the fullness of the Catholic faith, thereby helping the apostles and their successes in the accomplishment of their mission to claim all souls for the kingdom of Christ. And so, amongst those many sins that brings great sorrow to the heart of the mother is what is known as descent within the mystical body of Christ. For she knows where descent reigns, then the sacramental life is not often turned to, and the teachings of her son are disregarded indeed. In most cases, not only disregarded, but attacked, and many try to change them. Or, as we see in our modern world, it can get so bad that they try to overturn all that Christ did. What our Lord told us to avoid, they tell us to indulge in. What our Lord told us to strive for, they tell us to ignore. It is a complete reversal of the divine order. And it does not begin that way, but it begins by, by descent within the mystical body of Christ. And so let us be grateful for the hierarchical structure of the church and most especially for those mysteries that have been entrusted to the apostles and to all their successes. And let us strive always to see that all members of the human race again come to the knowledge of Christ so that they can come to know and love Christ and most especially in those most extraordinary ways which Christ has made the ordinary means of our salvation, that is the sacramental life of the church. For each time we receive the sacraments worthily, we have a communion with Christ, a deep and intimate communion that is not necessarily rooted in our faith, rooted in our feelings, in our emotions, but one whereby our soul is strengthened, strengthened in this journey so that we remain faithful, always growing in our filial devotion to Holy Mother Church and most especially to the Vicar of Christ, the Pope, and all those bishops united with him, united with him in the same mission that Mary was united with the Christ child, that is, the mission to bring salvation to all peoples and to all lands until the end of time, so that all nations and all their peoples will one day be united with their good God together for all eternity in heaven. <laughs>